Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so it's Sunday, May 15th, and I'm going out to my garden. And I am going to, I'm leaving the dogs in while I sprinkle this. Stay, go with Alana. Go with Alana. Alana, I need this floor swept, so move all the chairs, sweep the floor, and we need to dry mop, I mean wet mop it. Cause it's got stuff uh, just on the, he needs to vacuum twice. Huh? After the dishes. After the dishes. Sorry, y'all. I had to keep, make sure the dogs don't come out. Okay. So, I'm coming out to the garden. I came out here earlier to um, work in the garden, to uh, water. I actually came out to um, brush Acro. We have got to get him de-shedded because he has a lot of he has a ton of um undercoat that is really 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 just not good he molts he doesn't shed he molts um so that's just not good we just gotta get him taken care of okay i'm out here at my gardening table trying to clean from some stuff the kids left out here there we go. All right. So I'm going to turn my camera around and show you. I think I've got some bugs in my cabbages. And I think I'm seeing like eggs of something. So I want to make sure that I, I went, I Googled it. And they said I could do diatomaceous earth. So I went and got some at Walmart. But they're eating my leaves. And so I want to make sure that I treat them. Because I don't want to lose what I have. Now they're a little loopy because it rained last couple days. Um, and they haven't stood back up, but um, hopefully they will, but I'm going to show you. Okay, so if you see here, I'm starting to get holes in my leaves. Not in all of them, but in several of them. Right, and there are holes here. And there's some holes here. So I'm going to just sprinkle all of the lettuce, I mean all of the cabbage, with the diatomaceous earth. I don't see any, well, that's not true. I see some in my cauliflower, so I'm gonna sprinkle these as well. So when I was when I was looking online, it said I could do cauliflower and the lettuce uh, and the uh, cabbage. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of the diatomaceous earth on these, and then what I'm gonna do while I'm out here is I'm gonna get the kids to help me go ahead and get my cucumbers planted. And like I said, I'm not this not gonna be um, professional, but I'm just gonna hoe a row right here to the bottom of this row of peppers all the way down and I'm gonna do cucumbers. And my prayer is that the cukes will vine and vine to this um, chicken wire, right? Cause it'll hold them. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it doesn't vine to the pepper, but it vines to the chicken wire. Now I have to come out and try to train it a little, but that's no problem and it'll all be fine. Um, next time Mr. Jerome comes, I'm going to ask him just to take the weed eater and just kind of go behind the garden a little bit so that I don't have any surprise critters coming back there. So prayerfully, he will do that for me. And I have fruit on the uh, squash. We've got zucchini coming up. And I know y'all remember last year we planted zucchini. We did not get one. But I have several, several zucchini. And we also have tomatoes. We have tomatoes, we've got little tomatoes coming. We have a lot of wilt. It has been dry and it rained, right? So we're trying to come out in extra water. I'm gonna have the kids water in the morning and I'll water in the evening because I don't wanna lose all that I have done as far as, I have a lot of flowers as far as the, um, I, I also have some zucchini back there as well that are coming up. So anywho, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start sprinkling this stuff on the plant.
Jackson, come around, please. Come around. I got a few little weeds that need out. Alrighty, you guys. So it's a couple of days later, and um, in my office, in my bedroom, but in the office section, and I am having some difficulty—not difficulty, but when you have a lot of um, just stuff, right, that comes from YouTube. Sometimes there's product offers. Sometimes there are um, lovely subscribers that send you things. My bedroom can tend to be. A bit of a catch-all and I can't live in that space so when I changed the desk around because I got rid of the other desk I had to buy a plastic tote thing to put stuff in and it works out perfectly I still can get underneath my desk this is kind of where my keyboard would be when I'm looking at my you know my computer but behind me over on the bedroom side I still have several boxes of stuff that either needs to be reviewed or um, I've already reviewed it and I just need to Put it somewhere until I can either gift it to someone or I'm ready to use whatever that is. So, with that being said, I bought another uh, bin from Walmart that I'm going to put underneath this other side of the desk, which is like that um, that kind of triangle side over, th over there where I really can't get to it. So, I mean, once I put it under there, it'll be perfectly fine to be there. I'm hoping it fits. I'm looking now to see, and I don't think I counted for those two little bars that are there. If not, if it doesn't fit there, I'll just put it here on this side, which is perfectly fine. Um, because I'm usually kind of in the middle because I usually have the computer connected to the big monitors anyway. So it'll work out either way, but it cannot, I can't keep all those boxes over there. While I'm saying that, I'm in the middle of, um, not in the middle. I just started back the 75 hard. So for those of you who follow me before, I was doing 75 hard. I was about midway through when I got sick with COVID September the 10th, when I tested positive for COVID September the 10th. And I didn't have a lot of the symptoms that I've heard other people have. I'm gonna work on this while I'm talking. Um, what I had was extreme fatigue. I was just worn slap out. Now, that could have been a combo deal of all the hours that I worked. 
doing One Mom and doing First Love and all the groups and, you know, all the other things. So it could have been a combo of all of that. I'm not saying that it, it wasn't. All I'm saying is none of that fatigue stuff showed up until I had tested positive for COVID. Well, I was down until about, I was out of work until about the 20th because back then you were able to stay out the 10 days, right? You were staying out the 10 days. So, something is still closed. Oh, there's some tape over here, okay. So, um, anyway, by the time I was released by the doctor, I still wasn't feeling back to myself. I had been working out hard and it could have been that I had been working out so hard that my body was just um, so fatigued from the 75 hard. Cause I think I was like on day 35, 36, somewhere in there. My friend Olivia and I were doing it together and um, I was just on like day 30 something, right? Cause I had to actually start over. I had actually started over. I wasn't too far in when I first started and I had to start over cause I missed my outside workout is the one that I typically, if I'm gonna miss it, is for the outside workout. I'm not, I'm gonna get everything else in. Like I went to the gym today and then I just got back in from doing the outside walk. I said, let me do it now. Cause I was gonna try to get some stuff done in here first, but I already know. I was like, I got a little bit of light. I'm gonna go ahead and get, get my 30 minute walk in and live my best life. So um, 30 minutes at the gym, 30 minutes outside. I just chugged that water because that was my third bottle of water today. I still have to do one more bottle of water and I've got some reading and some writing to do. I did some writing earlier, but I've got to do a little more to meet my quota for the day. Just some stuff I need to work on um, as far as personal goals and different things like that. Um, while I have you guys on here, I am think, well, I don't know. I hadn't decided that quite yet. Let me think on it a little more haven't quite decided on anything yet but um anyway I wasn't able to finish it and then I didn't really feel better until about December and in December I would probably say I was still I hadn't gained any of the weight back by December well, come January, and we're trying to figure out this eating. We're trying to just eat what we have because groceries are getting more expensive. So I started eating carbs again, and then I was just hooked on carbs, right? That's just how it goes. When you start, you cannot close that. The door is open. And so from September to December, I didn't even have strength to do nothing but get out the bed, go to work. I could go to work, but that was about, you know, really all. I, I had stuff to do around here, but it was all I could do to just function. So after that, um, I just was eating everything. And I was trying to eat keto and then, but the cost of the, you know, keto stuff and, well, we have these things in the pantry. So, you know, excuse after excuse and I was just eating. And even as I'm looking at my face now, my face is much more round than it was. So that's why I always look for weight losses in my face and in my back. But I have totally gained back the weight that I lost. And I thought about it. I was like, well, I could probably do... Um, do this journey by myself because honestly um, lots of people most of the people who follow me on YouTube don't judge but a lot of people judge and it's like okay do you really want that smoke do you want that heat Shakima I don't I don't really think I do Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to put these wheels on with my bare hands. But um, the majority of the people, I've, I've not had nothing but good, solid support. And that has been just amazing because, you know, people get to say whatever they want. When you put your life out there 
for people to judge and watch and follow. You know, they, they are going to say what they want. Okay, good. I got those two on. Okay. So, I don't know how much I'm going to share. I may share the workout, you know, that I'm working out. I may share some of the meals but I'm not going to do a lot. Again, I'm not a I'm not a fitness person, I'm not a nutritional person, I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling I'm not giving you the step by step play by play of what I'm doing. I just went online and did Google. My doctor when I went to go to my doctor when I first started keto years ago was perfectly fine with me doing keto. She did not she was fine with it. I was losing weight, which is what I wanted to do to get off my blood pressure meds. Um and now that I'm down to the one med, I still don't want to be on the one. I want to get off. So, the sure way for me to get off is to lose the weight, right? Because, again, like I said, I've, I've gained back all the weight that I lost. My lowest was 185. And when I weighed this morning, I was 214.2. So, I've gained all the weight back. Um, that sedentary lifestyle... Um, only well and then we changed dojongs so jackson was able to go to taekwondo unlimited right and we would go four days a week four days a week i would be walking this they have this huge big parking lot thing they're kind of in a strip mall thing but it was a huge parking lot thing and i would walk that thing four days a week and i would go to the gym four days a week because he was there for hours where he goes now he can only go two days a week. Well, he can go to three classes. Two of the classes are on one day and one class is on another day and the classes are only 40 minutes. So my my biggest workout I can do on Friday because he goes for two classes. So I can drop him off and then Alana and I can end up going to the gym and staying for an hour and a little bit over an hour. And by the time, you know, we do what we're going to do and go to machine, machine. And she's doing good. Uh, we go from machine to machine. Um, dang it. Okay. It's worked out just fine. I'm going to move my chair. Um. The things we do for ourselves and our business and our homes and our children and all of the people. Okay. There we go. Now I gotta see where it's gonna fit. Okay. Well, that ain't gonna fit there. Alrighty, so then let me see. Okay. Oop. Okay, move myself. So anyway, that was one of the things because when I had first started going, uh, when I when I was going to Taekwondo for a long time with Jackson, and I would just sit there and watch him. And then it was like, why are you watching him? There's a gym right here. You've got a membership. You can leave him, he'll be fine while you go to the gym so that was my routine but then of course like i said when i got out of the habit of going because we switched and then when i was not well um that again was a problem y'all i'm trying to get this to fit <laughs> Wanting to fit. Okay. All right, that's not going to fit there. Let me. Okay. All right. When that don't work, you punt, right? We do. I'll put my trash can right there because we've been drinking a ton of water. Okay, let me see if I can't get it back out now. Same way I got it in have to get back out. Oh. Let's 
Okay. Oh. Okay. Mom? Yes, lovely. I want you to put it in that pan. Uh, put it in the pan okay, I would like to have broccoli with two of the hamburgers on it and some cheese and some um, honey mustard. You want the burger top on the broccoli? Uh-huh. Two burgers on top? Uh-huh. Yes. Cheese. Sliced cheese? Yes. Two sliced cheese? If we had to. With Yep. Anything else? Mm -mm. I don't think so. We're not what? Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. All right. Now I'm gonna have to um. I'm gonna have to turn my file cabinet around because now I have the file cabinet coming this way that's gonna bump into that cabinet. So I'm just gonna shift it and turn it this way, which will be totally fine. Let me take care of that. I'll chat with you guys when I'm done. All right, you guys, so here's what I did. I took the big one back, right? Because it was over here and it was really making me feel a little crowded. Those two, review things um i'm gonna be using this in the next week and then this will be a review that's those are reviews they can stay there for now they won't be there for long but having that big thing there kind of cut my space off here and it just was driving me insane so i took it back and i actually just got the half size which the bigger one is the better deal this is 21 dollars. this one is 15 and you get twice as much space right for six more dollars so this is the better deal but this one would not fit because i have those two um, bars under here like let's see if you can see it that bar right there and then there's another one on this side if they were not in that particular space i could have shoved another one right in there but they're there so it doesn't work but anywho i've got you know i've got some review stuff there I've got planner stuff down here that I'm trying to, to gift. I have a giveaway in there that I totally forgot about that I need to do. I haven't done it, but I need to do it. And I'll probably do it very soon. So this is just where I can keep all of my review stuff that I am working on current. And then if I need to, um, if I'm gifting something away to somebody or what have you, then it, it comes here to sit so it's not sitting on the other side it was just sitting in a little corner around here and then another little corner and i don't want anything that has to do with youtube one mom in my bedroom so this is the office and this is where we're going to work with so anywho there that is so there it is you guys um i am done for the evening shakima is done um it's the next day from when you saw that first clip um i did clean off my desk i just i did go to the gym and I walked, but um, I'm tired now, so I am going to sit. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. It'll be a caffeine cup of coffee. I drink decaf during the day. I don't drink caffeinated coffee at all, except at night when I come home, because that's what people gifted me was caffeinated coffee pods. So I will have one cup of coffee and then um, something to eat. It's nine, but I need to get some protein in. Um, I'm not going to worry about the scale. I'm going to worry about how my body looks and how my clothes fit. That's how I did it the first time. I'm only on 75 hard day number two. But I got my inside workout. I got my outside workout. I did went to the gym and I walked. So I did weights and some machines. And then I walked for 30 minutes. And last time it worked, you know, it just worked. My body was in good shape. So I give myself six weeks, which is 42 days, 42 days, which is just over half of the 75 hard for my body to get in shape, working out an hour a day every day. Um, so I'm only on day two of the first 42 days, which is a six week cycle. There are some programs that allow you to rest in between workouts, but 
75 hard does not allow that. So I'm going to follow the plan just like it is. And faithfully if I'm able. Because I don't want to have to start over. So anywho, there it is. I'm going to get myself together for bed. I'm going to work a little, get myself to be together for bed. And then uh, that's going to be it. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. If you like the vlog, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.